now let's grab some virtual things for that let's create a table inside unit simply create a cube and scale it And let's place something in our table i think it's okay for now but you can make everything in real scale like uh, me measuring this transformation in actually in unity they are in meters so you can now we'll simply add some stops here at our table let's create a material Let's add cylinder. And we'll create a hammer here. Let's create a hammer for that. Create it empty and name it and you can simply add a 3D object cube. scale it a getting environment so there is a reason that I am creating a hammer and I will explain it later then Add cylinder to it. Okay, now it will work for us. Now we'll be grabbing these two objects. One you can add material as well. To grab, first we have to go to our cylinder, then add XR grab interactable. So when you add that, rigid body will be added to this particular body, and rigid body is the thing which will make it like physical object, like rigid body is. If there is rigid body in basketball, if I threw it in my gameplay, it will fall down. So it will have all that physical properties. So that is rigid body. And you can see other than that there is XR grab interactable. 
and in rigid body collision detection we have to change this discrete to continuous dynamic so we use this continuous dynamics as it is better than other like if you are working on any project and you're you are rolling a ball or any other thing if it's low then it's work well with this discrete but when it's speed it will not unity will not track it similar with continuous it will kind of track more speed than the, this discrete but it also lack on the those area and some time it may pass through the walls and other stuff so continuous dynamic will prevent that and it's very easy to use and light as well than other so basically continuous dynamic is used so make sure every time you use rigid body in virtual reality make this collision detection to continuous dynamic and after that if you are grabbing anything you can use anyone for this one but actually velocity tracking is best and natural as it it is like natural and in instantaneous it catches object very fast like it's, it seems like unnatural and kinematics also similar and it, it have smooth movement but it passes through different objects if you grab that using kinematics so if that is in your project then it seems unnatural so velocity tracking is best but now it, it doesn't matter here and you can use this smooth position and rotation as you require i'll be using this and smooth rotation then all the main important thing here is it is far at as mode so i will share about this through video demo so here is near and far so it actually says you that where you want to grab that object if you want it to grab in in your hand near hand or like if you are grabbing by your hand then it's near and if you want to grab it through controller that ray cast then it's far so you have to choose one and if you choose this you can move the position of the object so you have to choose one from this we'll see first this grab and after that we'll be seeing this demo so these are the thing and other important thing is like if i added grab here the problem with hammer is you cannot catch hammer from any place as it should be cast through that handle only so what you have to do is you create a empty object here and make name as attach point we will be creating that attach point and position attach point on this particularly in handle so we'll be grabbing that point and to activate that go to this XR grab interactable and change this to velocity tracking and do smooth position smooth rotation and we have to change this collision detection to continuous dynamic and after that you will see at as transform means the place where you want to grab that particular object so drag that at as one point at as point to here and now you are ready to test it let's check it and we will take the feature near and far as well let's play Now we are inside our virtual reality and if we if I grab this you can see we haven't defined that whether it will be near or far you can see it's here in controller point 
pixel, but it's grabbing. I'm grabbing the hammer at the perfect attachment point, but grabbing point, and I cannot grab it my hand, so let's change it to near and let's check it. Now we'll change this attachment mode of this to near and leave this one as it is and let's check it once again now let's run it and we'll see it how that made difference to our project try to grab and let's can easily see yes in my hand now is big i will try to grab other cylinder with my other hand yes can grab it but it's far and this one is near 